Hi everyone. Hey, we're having a uh, nice uh, quality visitors today. We're having uh, the extreme. Uh, what's what's your anyway? Whatever side it is, we're having Robert. We which we uh, visited the uh, clean basement last time, <laughs> and we're having Philip from uh, Phil's Projects, and uh, your humble uh, servitor. <laughs> it's French. <laughs> <laughs> So, the happy bunch here. Yep. Today, uh, we've been working on a few projects, but uh, we uh, want to say uh, maybe a few words about this. Uh, Wilson Rockwell meter or uh, tester. It's a uh, 3JR, and you got the 4JR, the 2JR, but you got uh, different models like that, but they're basically functioning the same, uh, all in the same matter. So, uh, We'll get some pieces of metal, different, uh, a few different pieces, and we'll show you how uh, how we get results from this and uh, how it works. How to operate the uh, the uh, Rockwell meter. So let's get installed. Okay, um, Pierre's going to put in a piece of uh, high-speed steel uh, into the Rockwell tester, and um, what he's going to first do is he's going to add a preload to it. Um, He's going to find obvious a spot that we haven't done already. You, you never go back into the uh, an existing spot. And if you pay attention to the dials, okay, the big needles going around, the preload will be done when the small handle points into the black dot. It's getting close. Zero's at the top. If you don't get it right on your zero, it doesn't matter. You can adjust your dial with uh, the wheel at the bottom. So he gets it right on zero. Now what we did is we preloaded the uh, the diamond point on there, and um, Pierre's going to release uh, the weights. There's three weights in the back, and with the mecha mechanical advantage, uh, it's the equivalent of about 150 kilograms, or close to about 320 pounds, that's being applied. And uh, we wait for the needle to stabilize. Uh, it takes about five seconds for the load to come down. Uh, there's a damper uh, in the machine that we'll be able to show you later. And uh, even once it's slowed down quite a bit, it still comes down a little bit. So you wait about 20 seconds. Okay. And when uh, you release the load from it, you're going to get a Rockwell reading, which right now we're at about 61. Uh, that's the differential between the preload and the loaded up. And that's how we measure the, the hardness is how much did that diamond sink into it past the preload. And also, I don't have the uh, little disc they sell for calibration. You know they're more precise, but as a calibration uh, unit, we're using these uh, these uh, high speed steel uh, pieces. So we know they're around 60 yeah. to 62, and we're in the ballpark. You know, close enough to make our own uh, spec you know specifications yeah. for our own uh, metal. Okay, now we're we'll okay. Now it. we're just going to remove the piece and test finish, and I think. You can see the dimples in there. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, the last dimple we did is the uh, top uh, top right, which is I uh, just uh, give me a second. I'll show you this one under there. Mm. It's the last one we did. Yeah, I think it is pretty visible. Maybe we can compare with the dimple off uh, just some <coughs> whoops, some mild steel. Uh, the dimples are quite a bit bigger. Yeah, that way. Yeah, closer. Okay. The dimples are considerably bigger. It just uh, the the point just sinks further into it. Uh, I think we can see the difference. Yeah, between that's a the... big difference. I'll just uh, okay. So we're gonna measure this this part. This okay. is. Uh, this is material that's just mild steel. That's not no. Uh, this one's not mild steel. This is material that has the uh, ability to become oh, about no, that's sixty. The 460. Yeah. It's a KI four sixty or sixty one. Four sixty, I think. Yeah. Something like that. And this material, uh, it's a kneel now, and it has the possibility of uh, becoming like a sixty one, sixty two rock well, yeah. and it's hardened uh, state. Okay, let's slip that on the knees. This thing here. Okay, I'll repeat. Okay, 
if you want to spare your diamond, which cost a few hundred bucks, you take it easy. Don't uh, crash your diamond into the into the your piece. No, because that's gonna make it uh, unusable. Just calibrate. We're in. The preload is in, and we release. It's a five-second release, about, and we just wait for uh, the uh, diamond fi to finish to uh, its own, you know, like its penetration. Yeah. Anyway, penetration is always better, slow and moderate. <laughs> no comment. It's late. The three stooges are <laughs> laughing. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, I'll we, take the load off. We disengage the load exactly, and uh, we're getting about uh, 15 Rockwell. That's the uh, pre hardening, you know, like it's it's annealed material. Let's say a KI 460 in its annealed state. This is the uh, diamond brine that uh, we're using to, uh, I think we can get even closer. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's the uh, element that penetrates into the uh, piece of steel and this is a piece of diamond. It's a nicely conical shape and that's uh, you know the uh, some of the hardest material on earth. So. Okay we've got uh, the weights here and the uh, let's say we're having like uh, 150 kilograms which is 330 pounds but it's not an actual 330 pounds of weight in this uh, location there. We've got uh, a 25 uh, times advantage, which the pivot is around uh, this place here. At this level, we have a pivot. And when we release, you're going to see the arm there coming, uh, coming down. So the pivot around here amplifies this uh, weight by 20, 25 times. So it gives you... Um, the actual 330 pounds or 150 kilos directly on the point there. That's how they. That's how it's been done without having an actual weight, uh, you know, like a tremendous weight on it. There's about one uh, one thing that uh, needs to be maintained on this, besides the um, you know different uh, points, but it's the main heart. This is a damper. We unscrew this cap here, which I'm not going to do now, but you unscrew this cap here and you check the oil level. You got about an inch, two quarters of an inch to an inch from the top here, which this is full of oil. And this controls the uh, speed at which the damper will go down. And you always have to get the speed of about, uh, like I say, five seconds. That's about the only maintenance you really have to do on this uh, machine. And usually it's uh, pretty maintenance free. Okay, the part we want to measure is on the top here. The the brine is on top of the part, and to bring the uh, the platter into the uh, brine, the diamond, we just climb this. See the uh, screw is being jacked up, and the then we get to the uh, preload uh, position, and that's how it works. Okay, this is the weight system of the um, Rockwell meter. It, it uses uh, 150 kilos. This represents 150. Naturally, you have to multiply by 25 because the, uh, the balance is 25 to 1 on this. So if you get this weight here, it's a 50 kilogram weight by the mechanical advantage. In fact, it's a 2 kilogram uh, piece of metal you got here the 50 kilogram part and this is a 0.6 kilogram and the basic one which you can't remove you have to use at least the this minimum is 60 kilograms secret load okay they're keyed in because you can't uh, 
can't change the order in which they're going to be installed and according to the charts and the, um, the number of uh, weight you're using you're going to have different readings and different uh, charts to refer to the let's say the different uh, categories that's it for the weight that's it T tired going to bed going to eat watch the news sit down this concludes the presentation of the 3JR uh, harness uh, rock wall tester. It's uh, made by Wilson, Rugged Apparel. Uh, just maybe a little uh, add-on to uh, this video. If you want more accurate, more let's say representative results of your uh, testings on the part, you do three testings and you make the average. That will be more representative uh, of the reality. Uh, I had two people assisting me making this video, which is uh, Robert from you know the viewer, which we are you know, getting pretty uh, pretty nice relationship, and also which uh, I'm having a you know good friendship and a good relationship too, and everything when making even uh, sharing projects is Philip from uh, Phil's Projects. Uh, so thank you guys, I mean, <laughs> you helped me a lot doing this video, we had a nice day together. And uh, to all viewers, thank you for subscri subscribing, and uh, it's appreciated. Uh, if you like the video, just say, hey, go for a thumbs up. I mean, uh, when I watch my favorite channels, which I have a few, and uh, you know, I just say to the... Uh, you know, operators of these channels that I appreciate what they do and uh, sometimes give suggestions or just nice comments and uh, if I hope they appreciate it as much as I can appreciate the, the uh, comments that's been made to me and uh, till next time it's Pierre and uh, we'll see you soon in the next video did enough shit for him to bitch at today <laughs> <laughs> yeah today we've been work pourquoi est-ce qu'on dit des niaiseries de même? On voulait montrer comment ça va. C'est bien vrai, c'est ça. C'est ce qu'on est épais. Bon, c'est ok. Rewind. Ok, rewind.